is only the most amazing pony ever. She's beautiful. She's caring. She's kind. I am so lucky to have you as my full sitter. I'm the one who's lucky, Twilight. <laughs> You're a princess. I'm just a regular old unicorn. You are anything but a regular old unicorn. Sunshine, sunshine, lady likes the wake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. <laughs> <laughs> I am going for a hoof of cure, and you that is not. I am not going. I am. I, 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 I am. paid for three I, this no, month. I mean, my girlfriends are all getting their hooves done, and you said, oh, oh, sweetie, oh. <laughs> you just did that thing. How many unicorns can just spread love wherever they go? I only know of one. And you're marrying her. You're marrying Cadence. You're marrying Cadence. I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Cadence. Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. What are you doing? Cadence, it's me, Twilight. Uh-huh. I've got to get back to my station, but Cadence will be checking in with all of you to see how things are going. I think I speak for both of us when I say we couldn't be more excited to have you here. Right, dear? Absolutely. Well, we'll let you get to it. Cake. Chick. A sculpture. Chick. Best darn bite size apple fruity you ever tasted? Mmm. Chick. I do. Do you? I do. Mwah. Princess? Please, call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Hi, Princess Miyamore Cadenza. You come to check out what's on the menu for your big day? I have. <laughs> Delicious. I love, love, love them. <laughs> oh, shucks. Why don't you take a few to go? I know how you brides can be. So busy you forget to get a little something in your belly. Did you see what she... Oh, you should have seen how she acted back there. I don't know when she changed, but she changed. Please, call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Did I hear someone say my name? Your Highness! Let me just start by saying what an honor it is to play a role in such a momentous occasion. <laughs> uh huh. Is my dress ready? Oh, uh, uh, yes, of course. Um, I've been working on it ever since I was given the assignment, and I think you'll be pleased with the results. <laughs> I was hoping for something with more beating and a longer train. Oh, yes, of course. And those should be a different color. I think they're lovely. Me too. I love them. Make them a different color. Gee, maybe her name should be Princess Demandy Pants. Okay, let me see. We've been over the key. The dance. <laughs> Perfect! If we were celebrating a six-year-old's birthday party. <gasps> Thank you! This was my mess in my house! And now I have to start from scratch! But I, I thought it would make you happy. Happy! Happy! I... I just need some time alone. Sleepover rarity's going. Why, it's smashing. Huh? I just wish we could do something special together that didn't include me goofing anything up. Oh, the Sisterhood Social. Applejack and I do it every year. 
You and Rarity can compete against other sister teams in all these neat events. <gasps> that sounds like the perfect way for us to hang out. Rarity will think it's an excellent idea. What a ridiculous idea. A contest at Sweet Apple Acres. It doesn't sound very clean. So what, now you're back to hating misses? Sweetie Belle, watch your tone. I am still your big sister. Right, and any sister who cares about her sister goes. Sweetie Belle, honestly, playing silly little games in the dirt is just uncouth, with or without a sister. Well then, maybe, maybe I'll try the sister of social without a sister. In fact, I think I'll try the rest of my life without a sister. <gasps> oh, I'm the one who's ruining your life. Really? Have you looked around this place? I'm the one who would be better off with no sister. Well, it looks like we finally agree on something. Neither of us needs a sister. Deal! Deal! Goodbye, hun, sister. The sisterhood social was uncouth? Yeah, uncouth. <coughs> Wait, what's uncouth? It's not just the social. She thinks I'm uncouth. Honey, Rarity thinks everything's uncouth. <coughs> what's uncouth? It means uncivil, you know, bad-mannered. <coughs> exactly. Sweetie Belle, just give Rarity some time. She'll come around. Sisters always do. Not sisters like Rarity. Come on now. Apple Bloom and I got some chores to finish up on. Maybe you can help. You sure you want me to help? I just mess everything up. Oh, come on. That's just stinking thinking. Watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good catch there, Apple Bloom. <laughs> the bruised apples, we gotta collect them all for the pigs to eat. It's a lot of work, so we make a game of it. Wanna try? Um, okay. Ow! <laughs> You're right, it is hard work. That's why we do it together! together. <laughs> Weirdy never wants to do chores together. <laughs> oh, that work ruined! Thanks to Sweetie Belle. Oh my, it's usually a big mess in here. <gasps> Idea! This is genius! I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions! Why, if Sweetie Belle hadn't. <clears throat> well, no matter, she still shouldn't have touched my things without permission. Hm. from Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new chapeau will cheer you up. No, it won't. Come on, Apple Bloom. It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. that we have here. Why, it's Apple Bloom, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, youth? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I tried everything, Vicora, and still no cutie mark. Well, I'm gonna be as old as Granny Smith and still have a blank slate. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. Ugh, I've heard that from every pony I know, and now from every vibra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. 
I just want my cutie mark and I want it now! For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now, drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Oh, my star apples, you did, Sakura! Golly, you have tonics that heal all sorts of ailments. Bad bones, bad back, bad breath. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens! Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room, but none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key. For a cutie mark, time is the only remedy. Fine. What you got going on there? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With heart's desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doo doo. Sowie! Heart's desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brood to have full power. Yeah, you go, you go. That's all you can do, huh? competition, so I'm going to have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. 
somewhere you can have, but seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway, you're all outstanding competitors, but there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against... Me! Kazunite. Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun. I've flown through it a million times myself, so obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? And I bet modest is not one of them. No, but she is kind of awesome. Never fear, your friendly neighborhood Rainbow Dash is here. hero thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right, silly. And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name, Rainbow Danger Dash. 
Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack, how would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof-picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! Spike the ghost! <laughs> I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive tastes, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, Rarity. Rarity. Pro, seeing the derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con, going to the derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro, Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con, Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. He's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! And it's Fleetfoot's ball of stones! <laughs> Bravo, Rarity! I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? And Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonder Bolts trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonder Bolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, really. Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. What's happening to me, Twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? Spike, what did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? 
Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so grabby. My arms aren't usually this long either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will Guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave real boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh, well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. Come on, Spike. starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> You mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. This amazing broom. Spy! What? Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible broom. Spy!
Appreciation Day, so let's move Harvest Day instead. They don't look quite ripe. Harvesting apples early never hurt an apple. I don't know. Zap apple trees aren't like normal apple trees. They're magic. How different can they be? Well, if we can't buck them, let's just pick them. Got it. <laughs> Is any pony hungry? Uh, no thanks. I just had a big breakfast. I'm on it. See, Pinky, the babies need to be burnt. All set now? Everything good? Okay, who wants to play again? Uh-uh-uh, pound cake. No pounding things. Uh-uh-uh, we don't chew on things, pumpkin cake. Except food. Great, <gasps> great cinnamon sticks. I completely forgot. No, you just fed in bottles, remember? Not the baby's food. The food for the enormously big catering order we have to deliver today. Oh, with the new twins. We've been so distracted. Quick, honey bun. We need to find a babysitter to watch the foals while we take care of this. I can do it. I want to do it. Oh, the babies love playing with me. I'll do it. Wonder who would be available on such short notice? Me! Me! Pick me! Oh, I would love to babysit. But I can't today, sorry. I promised Angel we'd go on a picnic. You understand, don't you? You're not mad at me, are you? Please don't be mad at me! <laughs> 
Finish this report for the princess, summarizing all my other reports to the princess. I want to babysit! Pick me! <laughs> babysit? Now? When there's a swarm of hungry caterpillars heading this way? I gotta get all these apples picked before they get swarmed on. <laughs> to the Wonder Bolts air show this afternoon. Got a dash. Ask me. Me 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 me. Moi, babysit. Oh no 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 no. I am flattered that you would think about me though. Pinkie Pie, how would you like to babysit for us? <gasps> I don't know. I'll have to check my schedule. <laughs> now, Pinkie, are you sure you really understand the responsibility of watching over two babies? I can be responsible. Why, responsibility is my middle name. Pinky Responsibility Pie. But this time you need to take care of them, not just play with them. You have to be responsible. Yes, I know. I will. I am. Oh, here you are, dearie. All of your responsibilities are on this list. Whoa, that's a lot of responsibility. Consider it done. We'll frost it when we get there. Come on, sugar plum, tick tick. Tick. A lot of ponies will come to watch us. A lot? Hundreds. Hundreds? <gasps> Maybe even thousands. <gasps> oh, my hair! Applejack, be a dear and shut those windows, will you? <sighs> Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash! <sighs> Thank you! Thank you! It's a reenactment of the founding of Equestria. It's not the Rainbow Dash Show. Well, it should be the Rainbow Dash Show. I'm the star. Fluttershy, you've got to come out of there. Curtain in two minutes. Twilight, let me handle this. My hair! Hey, <laughs> The Hearts Harmony pageant is about harmony and friendship. Shut the window! Once upon a time, long before the peaceful rule of Celestia, and before ponies discovered our beautiful land of Equestria, ponies did not know harmony. It was a strange and dark time, a time when ponies were torn apart by hatred. <gasps> I know, can you believe it? During this frightful age, each of the three tribes, the Pegasi, the Unicorns, and the Earth Ponies, cared not for what befell the other tribes, but only for their own welfare. In those troubled times, as now, the Pegasi were the stewards of the weather. But they demanded something in return, food that could only be grown by the Earth Ponies. The unicorns demanded the same. In return for magically bringing forth day and night. And so, mistrust between the tribes festered, until one fateful day, it came to a boil. And what prompted the ponies to clash? It was a mysterious blizzard that overtook the land and toppled the tribes' precarious peace. The normally industrious earth ponies were unable to farm their land. were freezing. The home of the Pegasi fared no better. The Pegasi were hungry. And the unicorns were freezing and hungry. Even the unicorn's magic was powerless against the storm. Each 
each tribe blamed the others for their suffering. And the angrier every pony grew, the worse the lizard became. And so it was decided that a grand summit would be held to figure out a way to cope with the blizzard. Each tribe sent their leaders. Daughter of the Unicorn King, Princess Platinum. Ruler of the Pegasus, Commander Hurricane. And lastly, leader of the Earth Ponies, Chancellor Puddinghead. Perhaps the three tribes could finally settle their differences and agree on a way to get through this disaster. All I want to know is why the Earth Ponies are hogging all the food. <sighs> us? We're not hogging all the food, you are! Oh wait, you're right, it's us. Well, it's only because you mean old Pegasus are making it snow like crazy! For the hundredth time, it's not us! We're not making it snow. It must be the unicorns. They're doing it with their freaky magic. <gasps> How dare you! Unlike you Pegasi ruffians, we unicorns would never stoop to such a thing. Come of them! <laughs> Excuse me, AJ, but we didn't travel all over Equestria searching for you to come home without you. Well, I didn't ask you to come looking for me. There was nothing to tell, and I am not going back to Ponyville. I don't care what she says. Applejack's not telling us something. Twilight's right. We gotta get her to spill the beans. What? She had beans? Uh, I told her I would snack eight. You ready to put your back into it, Applejack? Sure am, Miss Jubilee. Terrific. Come on in, girls. What are you all doing here? We're your cherry sorters. Shall we get started? Fine. <laughs> Red cherries go in one bin and yellow cherries go in the other. Simple as cherry pie. Uh, just one teensy thing to remember. Have fun! What are you five up to? Well, uh, you made working on a cherry orchard sound so delightful. Uh-huh. Well, just remember, no talking about Ponyville. Fine. Why don't you quit talking and get walking? How was Canterlot? Not talking about Ponyville, talking about Canterlot, totally different town. Canterlot was fine. Was the rodeo fun? Yes. Did you meet some nice ponies there? Some. Really? Did you see Wild Bull Hickok? Oh, what about Calamity Mae? Yes, saw them both. And how did you meet Miss Jubilee? Um, well. Miss Jubilee had a cherry stand at the rodeo. Real good treats. Um, excuse me? Cherry winks, cherry cheesecake, cherry tarts. We struck up a conversation being orchard folk and all. So you told her about Sweet Apple Acres? Yes. Did you tell her why you weren't going back? No, because it was none of her business. Can you please slow down? Is it because I made it rain on you that one time? No. Because you were insulted when I gave you that book on organized orchards? No! Is it because you were insulted when I insulted your hair? No, no, no! I'm not telling you why, so just stop! girls, we seem to be striking out. That's because we're playing too nice. Yes, desperate times do call for desperate measures. It's time to call in the big guns. Hey, Applejack, need some help? 
Do you promise not to ask me any questions? I promise. Have you ever had a cherry changa? Oh, sorry, that was a question. That kind of question is fine, Pinky. No, I, I never had a cherry changa. Well, no wonder, because I made it up myself. A cherry changa is mashed up cherries and a tortilla that's deep fried. Cherry changa, great name, huh? Oh, but maybe I should call it a chimichurri. Ooh, that's good too. Which do you think sounds better, cherry changa or chimichurri? Or what if I combine them, chimichurri changa? What sounds the funniest? I like funny words. One of my favorite funny words is kumquat. I didn't make that one up. I would work in a kumquat orchard just so I could say kumquat all day. Kumquat, kumquat, kumquat. We gotta try something else. I've got it, brother of mine. Well done, Flam! We're at top productivity! Yeah! Come on, Rainbow oh. Dash! Keep grinding! We don't have time for quality control if we want to win this thing! Ah! Get back, you! One bad apples boils that much! Applejack, help me! There's no point in winning if we cheat! We'll just have to work harder! Come on, every pony! All right then, double time! Jack. Thanks. <sighs> Integrity like that will always be rewarded. Flim and Flam win! What? We lost? Aw, oh, too bad, Apples. Guess you'll just have to find a new line of work that doesn't match your names quite so perfectly. Now, should we tear down all these tacky old buildings and put up new ones, brother? I don't see why not, brother. After all, this isn't Sweet Apple Acres anymore. How about Flim Flam Fields? I ought to press you into jerk sight! No, Rainbow Dash. A deal's a deal. <laughs> Congratulations to y'all. The cider business in Ponyville is yours. Come on, Apples. Let's go pack up our things. Fear not, every pony. There's more than enough cider to go around. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, every pony. Go on, y'all. It's okay. Drink up, Pony Bell! Down the hatch! Hey, can't get the taste off my tongue! Mine's got rocks in it. I wouldn't pay one cent for this drip. You wouldn't pay even one cent? No! How about two cups for one cent? No! Two bits for the barrel? No! <laughs> it looks like we've encountered a slight problem here in Ponyville. No pony wants our product. Next town? Next town. Let's go, Flam. Let's go, Flam. We're gone. That means Sweet Apple Acres is still in business. Plus, we can have high-quality Apple Family Cider. Because of this silly competition, we've made enough of our cider for the whole town. Dear Princess Celestia, I wanted to share my thoughts with you. Ahem. <clears throat> I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I was right all along. If you take your time to do things the right way, your work will speak for itself. Sure, I could tell you I learned something about how my friends are always there to help me, and I can count on them no matter what. But truth is, I knew that already, too. Oh, I'm so worried. Is her face gonna stay that way? Oh, I wish she 
she, Doctor? She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. H how long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. I'm going to climb the walls. Oh, just like a spider. Did the crash somehow give her super duper spider powers? No, nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. A few days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked looking good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! for the Sapphire Stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No, thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world-class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> she serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple. Or maybe an orange, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous. Fierce and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable. As Daring Do trekked through the tropical jungle, the wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. Oh, come on, Miss Cheerily. Ask them to be your very special soul pony. <gasps> oh my gosh, look! Big Mac? Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. Oh, come on! Well, this has been... strange. Yup. I need to get going, but it's always great running into a good friend. Yup. Do you think it just wasn't romantic enough? Maybe it was too romantic. Either way, we failed. Oh, there's gotta be something else we could. Oh! Oh my.
my goodness, I didn't even see you there. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, it's okay, Twilight. It was an accident. I've just been reading the most fascinating book about hearts and hooves day. Did you know that this holiday got its start because of a love potion? Did you say a love potion? That's right. It even has the recipe. I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do you? Of course you can. I have another book here that I think you'll... <laughs> Take a tuft of cloud. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with a Pegasus feather. Hey! Fast, not slow. Surf do ponies who aren't in the know. I feel kind of bad tricking my brother and Miss Cheerley this way. What's the problem? We all agree these two are perfect for one another. Yeah, they just need a little nudge. And what could make them happier than being together, right? Rad. Oh, oh, here they come. Hi, Miss Cheerley. Hello again, girls. Hello, Big Mac. Would you three like to tell us why it was so very important that we meet you here? Punch! Excuse me? Punch! We made punch. We were gonna set up a stand and try to sell it, but <laughs> we needed some pony to taste test it first. Yep. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. So, uh, we'll just leave you two alone. Together. To test it. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. I mentioned to the girls that I don't have a very special sun pony, and I believe they're putting us in these awkward situations because they've decided it should be you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. This punch does look delicious. Yep. I think they're gonna drink it. To good friends. They're drinking it! They're drinking it! <laughs> They're looking into each other's eyes! <laughs> They're, They're about, about to, to be, be in, in for a big surprise! Big Mac? Yup. Will you be my very special sun pony? Yup. Special sun pony. Hey, yeah. Aww. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. Did he just say? You're my cutie patootie lovey dovey honey bunny. You're my hearty, smarty, smoochy, woochy, baby, wordy. <laughs> <laughs>